What I really like to see here at Nano Ionics, you know, some missions beyond, you know, Earth, like Moon and Mars even. I'm probably most excited to contribute my part to help humanity, you know, to reach Mars and probably even land, you know, that would be great. I'm the project engineer here at Nano Avionics. So the project engineer here is responsible for the whole satellite mission from the technical side. And metaphorically speaking, you know, I have to feel the pulse of a whole satellite project to make sure that everything is on schedule, everything is assembled, every screw is set in and nothing is missing before you know, it's shipped to the client or to the launch pad. So depending on the satellite status, I could be sitting on my desk, scheduling, producing all sorts of assembly files, or you know, being in a clean room with my colleagues, assembling these thing. If it's something non-standard, you know, I have to be there. We be the first person in contact with the clients. You know, if anything from the technical side comes out. What I love about it, it's, it's the new things, you know, the things you could explore, all the cutting edge is there. When you look at the big players in the industry, you know, you see people actually trying to, to, to you know, to reach other planets. So it's kind of wanted to do the same here, try new things, for example, with the green propulsion, which is kind of new thing in uh, our industry. And we're really the pioneers of, 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 of that thing. So I'm kind of related to those big guys in the industry, you know, they doing their missions. They have their struggles and we here are doing kind of the same, you know, with our struggles. I love working with satellites because when you see, you know, the actual thing assembled after, you know, you put all the screws in, finally test it and, and say the last goodbye to it before it's shipped to the launch pad. And then you kind of realize that the thing you build is actually will be flying in space. So it's the simple things like walking with your friends during the night looking at the sky not only identifying all the constellations but also you know looking at the specific place saying that that's the thing flying which i build with my colleagues there is a lot of challenges we have you know every satellite we build is somewhat different they're getting bigger you know more complex so on its own so the all the thermal and power management problems all the moving parts all the deployables are growing along with it for example you know we have earth observing satellites which you have to keep you know stable and pointing to the same direction to produce the vibration free environment for the you know telescope so that's quite a challenge and subsystem requirements are getting you know more strict so that kind of pushes our system to their limits but I think that's a good thing actually because every time we do the same thing it will get easier after the work nothing really changes for me I love you know aviation I love flying so most of the time I spend in a garage and building drones I also love paragliding so I think it's the most genuine way of flying you know it's just you and the wing in the air and the biggest project i'm probably working at the moment now is my rocket i think it's all started as a simple goal you know to photograph my whole village you know from the air but after the five years it kind of matured into the goal you know to reach the supersonic flight and uh, 10 kilometers of height i'm really hoping that everything will come out and i will have a launch in the following weeks and i will have something to show <laughs> in this video I would recommend, you know, a few YouTube channels I personally watch, like, you know, Copenhagen Suborbitals, which is a crowdfunded project with, with a goal, you know, to launch a human being into space. And finally, the YouTube channel, you know, Smarter Every Day, which is uh, about science in general, you know, about the cool things, about the world and, and the universe.